Latitude Knob Mod next. If you ever tried to grab these knobs, you know exactly how they feel. Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about Latitude Knob Mod. Now, if you have an EQG, an EQ6, an HEQ5, a Sirius, or any other mount that might have this knob, you're very familiar with it. It's the Latitude Knob and if you ever have a fully loaded mount and you're trying to adjust this while you're in the field, this little blade here is only an inch and a half long and it's hard to turn when you've got 40 pounds of gear on your uh, mount. What I'm going to show you next is how to make a mod so you can easily make these adjustments without having to slice your hand apart. The tools needed for this mod is you need a hacksaw, a tape measure, a drill with a quarter inch bit, safety goggles, some tape, a marker, a knife, and a dremel tool. Then the uh, materials you need are uh, a little bit of rope and a half inch PVC tube. First thing I need to do is take a piece of uh, PVC tube half inch and just measure out eight inches and cut it off. We take with the marker and draw a half inch wide by three quarter inch deep pattern on the PVC tube. Safety goggles and we start cutting. Piece of tape on the end as a, as a handle. I found putting the tape on the end of the handle is great at night so you can see which end is which. Next step is do is we just drill a small hole, a quarter inch hole at the uh, end of the uh, handle here. Take a piece of rope, cut it probably about 16 inches, whatever length you like. After you've cut it, then you can put it through the hole you just created. Then what you could do is just tie it in a knot at the end. You've probably already guessed how this knob works. It works with leverage. Instead of using a little one and a half inch blade to slice your hand, now you can put this knob that we created with an eight inch leverage and now you can get more adjustment on your latitude much easier without slicing your hand. Now the front knob is a little bit smaller in diameter as compared to the rear knob. The rear knob is a little bit larger in diameter. When you put that over the top of it, it fits on there really snug. But you still get the, uh, the adjustment that you need to be able to pull it back and forth. And then the good thing about it too is that little lanyard that you created, after you get done doing your latitude adjustment, just hang it over the top there. In my last video I talked about Polar Finder Scope software and there I also spoke about Amateur Astrophotography e-magazine. Now a good way that you can know more about this magazine is to like them on Facebook. Their Facebook page is Amateur Astrophotography Magazine. Look that up, like them, and then you could start contributing your photos and your articles or whatever else you would like to contribute to the magazine. The magazine's biggest success is from people like you and I and we go ahead and contribute our photos and show everyone else our work. So don't be afraid, go ahead, post a photo there and like them on Facebook. You'll enjoy it. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.